You're a man. You need to go conquer something. It's part of who you are, bro. You want to go out. You want to make money. You want to build a business. You want to grow your career. You need to dominate something that is productive. What does productive even mean? I think we have a gross misunderstanding of what productivity is. Productivity is not the same thing as busyness. Busyness is simply movement. Movement that is unfocused, undirected. It's not intentional. Productivity, on the other hand, is motion that intentionally moves you towards a specific goal or direction that you want to be. And that's really what conquest is. Think of it this way. There's a man going out to hunt and he wants to hunt a specific sort of game. You know, he's not gonna bring buckshot if he wants to go bird hunting. You know, he's not gonna bring a high powered rifle if he wants to go rabbit hunting. He's gonna bring the appropriate equipment for the specific conquest or adventure that he's undertaking. He has a specific goal in mind and there are specific tools that are required for that specific goal. So the same thing goes for you. Here are a few tools or even mindsets that will help you achieve anything that you want to achieve as a man. Number one, you have to develop the ability to self-regulate your emotions. How this looks or what this looks like is being able to experience situations in life like anyone else and then decide how you want to respond. And not that click were sort of response, meaning something happens, you just react. That's how most people live their lives. 95% of their people of the people live their lives that way. But you don't have to be part of that 95%. You can choose to be a full man who is in, in control of his own destiny and choice having options is the root of that. And the first thing I believe you have to develop is the ability to self-regulate your emotions. If you're going to respond in anger, let that be an intentional choice. If you're going to respond in kindness, let that be an intentional choice. If you're going to respond with apathy, let that be an intentional choice. Now, I don't expect you or anyone to master this overnight, but life is a long game. It's long in this way. Life is too long to not achieve the things that you desire to achieve. So if you can get better week by week, if you can really get better at that week by week, you'll find yourself less stressed, with more peace, with more productivity, achieving more, accomplishing more, having a greater sense of fulfillment in every area of your life. The next thing you need to develop is discipline. And this is what discipline is. I learned this definition from Bob Proctor. Def, uh, discipline is the ability to give yourself a command and then follow through. That's it. You don't need motivation. You don't need inspiration. You don't need a mission all the time. You don't need a purpose, but what you do need is discipline. And you'll find that discipline is like rocket fuel for your life. And here's why it is. The more times that you can give yourself a command and then follow through with that command, the better you will feel about yourself because you trust yourself more. So think about when you say you want to trust someone else. That trust is usually forged and developed by that person making a commitment to you and then following through. Being a person of integrity, a person of their word. And as they 
display more of that to you over time, you trust them more. You like them more. You trust them with more because you know there's a very high likelihood that it's going to result what you think it's going to result in and what they say it's going to result in. So the same thing applies to yourself. Discipline allows you to build trust with yourself. And the more you trust yourself, the more you'll go out and do those things that may seem impossible to you now. Whether that's earning more money, getting in better health, fitness, whether that is uh, improving your marriage or your relationships or your friendships, whatever it is, as a man, they all require discipline. Now, if you're a woman watching this, I'm not saying this to disparage you in any way. This page is about men for men. And discipline is a big thing for us. We got to have it if we want to achieve anything great in this life. And brother, if you're watching this, I want you to achieve great things in your life. It's going to require discipline. The third thing you're going to have to develop is perseverance. And to me, perseverance is discipline, practice, consistently over a meaningful period of time. So it's easy to be disciplined when things are going your way. It's easy to be disciplined when life feels easy and breezy. It's harder to be disciplined when there are circumstances you did not anticipate, people, situations you did not anticipate, it's easy to let yourself off the hook. I've done this many times. I struggle with it to this day. But as I stated before, I am committed to becoming a better and better man, which requires me to regulate my emotions and practice discipline. And now to implement that discipline as perseverance, which is just being disciplined consistently over a meaningful period of time. So let me put it to you this way. Let's say you wake up. I'm, I'm going to show you how this manifests in three different areas or in one situation, how each trait, emotional self-regulation, disciplining, perseverance. So first you start out, you say, hey, I want to go to the gym four days a week. So, you know, you might go buy some new clothes, gym clothes, gym shoes. You're going to make join uh, a nice gym. And, and now you're going to go watch a bunch of motivational videos on YouTube. And that's, that's all fine and dandy. But your input is still dependent on a lot of external factors, which means that you probably haven't mastered your emotional self-regulation. So the first thing that would look like is saying, I'm going to wake up at five o'clock tomorrow and go walk. So... If tomorrow, when that alarm clock goes off at 5 a.m., if you wake up and say, man, I'm just so tired. I'm going to sleep for 30 more minutes. You have not regulated your emotions. You've allowed your feelings, which are, uh, they're vapors at best. They come and they go. They're not consistent. They can't be consistent. They come in, they go out. Sometimes it seems reasonable, rational, other times it doesn't. There's a time and a place for that, but this is not that time or that place. You gave yourself a command and now you need to follow through. So the first thing you could do is just wake up, make your bed, brush your teeth, go through your morning routine and go walk. So just being able to get started down the path and say, I'm at least going to get up and get out of bed, regardless of how I feel, that is emotional self-regulation and that serves you. The next thing is to say, okay, now I'm going to be disciplined. So if you say you're going to walk for 30 minutes, don't walk for 27, 25, or even 29, 30 minutes. You gave yourself a command and you need to follow through. And it's easy to get yourself the hook to say, why well, I did get up today. You're not being disciplined. You told yourself a half truth instead of a whole lie. But you're still not really building trust with yourself. You need to build that trust. 
You need to be able to trust yourself that you say, I'm going to do this. I say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And that's just that. And then the last part of this and the perseverance is saying, I'm going to do that for the next 365 days. I promise you, if you do that for probably 30 to 60 days straight, that would be the hardest part. And the rest of the year would be relatively easy because it's no longer anything that you have to be motivated to do, inspired. You don't have to push yourself to do it. It's just who you are at that point. And that's what perseverance builds. Perseverance builds character. And not character in some like lofty, esoteric sort of way. I mean character in the very literal sense of the word. We're all playing characters in this life. The trick is to play the character that you desire to play. And perseverance and discipline and emotional self-regulation allows you to be the author of your story. It allows you you to decide, I want to be this person. So I'm going to understand how that person acts and I'm going to begin to become that person. And as you do those actions and you develop those habits and you begin to think and behave as that person more consistently before you know it, you are that person. You develop that character within yourself. You become the person who does the things rather than being a different person who's doing the things and become the person that's be, do, have. You got to become the person who does the things to have the results. Another way this can manifest is you can do anything for a short amount of time, whether it's keep some weight off, earn a lot of money, whatever. It's not easy to achieve hardly anything one time or intermittently. It's hard to achieve something and then maintain that level of achievement over a long period of time. That's where that perseverance ties in. You haven't yet developed the character that allows you to be, do, and have those things every single day. But you have to work on it. So if you've achieved success and then you lost it in some area of your life, so let's say maybe you're an entrepreneur and you wanted to make $250,000 and you did it one year and then the next year you didn't. It's because you didn't quite develop the character that maybe you thought you did. It's almost like you got a sneak peek that showed you, hey, if you can do this and really become this person, keep your emotions in check, uh, practice humility, practice gratitude, practice being disciplined, practice perseverance. If you keep doing it, Eventually, you will just be the person. And this is now your floor. It's no longer this ceiling that you had to blast through. Now it's your floor. You will not achieve anything less than this because that's not who you are. You are an achiever who does at least this. So like one thing I like to tell people in, in my businesses or if I'm having a conversation with someone is you're not trying to keep adding floors to things. You're trying to increase your personal floor. You know, there was a time in my life where saying, hey, if I'm making 80 grand a year, you know, that's my floor. And once I achieved that and I became that person mentally, my floor is really hard for my floor to drop beneath it. Then it was 100 grand, then it's 150, then it's 200, whatever it is. I'm just trying to raise that floor because that becomes my minimally acceptable standard. If that's my minimally acceptable standard, I will develop the personality and character that allows me to maintain that floor all the time. And that's what you got to do, guys. So let's just recap and we're going to get out of here. You develop emotional self-regulation. You're going to be a man who dominates in his chosen field. You got to develop discipline, which is giving yourself a command and following through. And you got to practice perseverance, which is simply being disciplined consistently over a meaningful period of time. Hope this was a blessing to you. Hope it was helpful to you, my man. If you would take a moment to like this video, comment what you gained from it. I would appreciate that. That's going to really help this channel take off, grow, and reach more men and impact more men in a positive way. And then if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That would be very meaningful. That allows me to know that I am creating content that is useful and helpful to you. And then lastly, probably most importantly, share this with another brother that you think would gain value from this sort of content to help them become 
an indomitable, relentless man. You're a man and you deserve better.